I'm a one pan kind of girl. I'm gonna show you how to make not one, not two, but three dinners from one chicken. The breast meat seems to be where we all start when we get a rotisserie chicken. So my first meal is going to use just the breast meat. I'm gonna do a pesto pasta dish. I'm also gonna show you how I really eat the breast meat of the rotisserie chicken every single time. I'm gonna start by melting a little butter and olive oil together, saute our garlic and chicken. Then we just stir in a little heavy cream. This is the ultimate shortcut dinner. I'm also using some store-bought fresh pesto. This is gonna really take this pasta to a restaurant quality level. When your cream has reduced enough to where it nicely coats your spoon, then you know it'll coat your pasta. So we're gonna stir in a little bit of Parmesan cheese and pesto. Look how big this pan of food is. This is a great hearty meal to feed your family. Just the breast. We still have two more meals left. And here we go for the perfect bite. Mm. This next recipe I'm gonna make is chicken fried rice. We're going to pick off the rest of the meat for the most part, mostly the dark meat. You're not gonna get a ton of chicken at one time, but this dish is still protein packed because you add in the egg too. You can keep the skin on or peel it away for dishes like this. I tend to just peel it off, but don't discard all your bones, especially the bigger ones, because we're gonna use those in the third dish. I give it a rough chop so that it scatters through the fried rice dish, and there's definitely gonna be some chicken in every bite. I've cooked some rice ahead of time and refrigerated it so that it's cold. This is a great meal to make if you have leftover rice, or this is a good time to just buy these rice packets to make this meal even easier. I'm gonna heat up some canola oil and just a little bit of toasted sesame seed oil. You don't have to do this, but this imparts the most flavor. And then I'm gonna saute some green onions and carrots. Next, I'll sprinkle in a little bit of garlic powder and ground ginger. Once the carrots have gotten a little bit soft, we'll add our rice in. We'll add in some salt and pepper and our chicken, stir everything around till it gets good and coated, and then we're gonna kind of leave it alone for a minute because I need the little bits to get crusty around the edges. Before we give it another toss, we're gonna stir in some frozen peas. Then we're gonna push all the rice to the edges and we're gonna scramble our egg in the middle. Some people like to scramble their egg ahead of time. I'm a one pan kind of girl. It's so easy. The finishing touch, just a little soy sauce. And if you want, I like a little splash of rice vinegar too. Just kind of adds a little pizzazz. When you can make something this delicious, don't you dare throw away those chicken scraps. I like to finish this off for the perfect bite with a little sriracha mayo and some green onion. This makes me so happy. Mm. Mm. Now we're left with our sad little carcass but this thing is going to create the most delicious pot of soup. I'm making lemon chicken soup. Now, obviously there's not gonna be much chicken floating around in it, but the broth is gonna be super nutritious and there's added protein from eggs as well. The carcass will give off a lot of chicken flavor, but I like to intensify that since I didn't cook the chicken from its raw state by simmering it in chicken broth. So I've got about eight cups of chicken stock and I'm just gonna set my chicken in here and let it simmer for a bit till all the rest of the remaining chicken falls off. After it's simmered for a bit, you'll notice some little floaty bits coming to the top. So I'm gonna skim those off the top. Then I'm gonna pick off any remaining chicken and stir in some orzo pasta. Classically, this dish is made with rice, but I'm gonna do orzo because that's what my family likes. When our orzo or the rice is just about cooked, we're going to finish it off with some lemon juice and eggs. This is what really enriches this soup and makes it really creamy. We're gonna add this egg mixture to the soup, but first you have to temper it, so we need to bring this temperature up. So we're gonna add in a ladle of the hot broth, whisk that in, and then add the whole thing to the soup. This is the perfect summertime soup because it's nice and light. We're gonna finish it off by seasoning it with salt and pepper and some fresh herbs. It smells so good another little light dusting. And this, my friends, is how you make the most of your rotisserie chicken. Mm. I didn't want you to think I cheated by offering this as one of my meal suggestions. So if you didn't want to do the pasta, this is really my favorite way to serve a rotisserie chicken. Get you a crusty baguette and make yourself a little open face delight. Get your baguette good and toasty. Then we're gonna take that same flavor idea by mixing in a little pesto in our mayonnaise. 
Sometimes I just do plain mayonnaise, chicken, and cracked pepper, but I'm gonna show you the gourmet version. Y'all, this is about to be the best perfect bite in the history of perfect bites. Are you ready? Listen up. Mm. There you have it. Three delicious and easy dinners out of one chicken. When it comes to feeding your family from one rotisserie chicken, you can cook that. Summertime, summertime, some, some, summertime.